for joining us. And this Ultrabook project looks like it's incredible. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so um, um, I have a whole year planned already. We started off in Japan, and uh, we're going 12 countries, 12 songs, 12 collaborations, 12 philanthropic uh, ventures trying to help uh, relieve these inner cities that have been underdeveloped. And, uh, and a DJ gig that will raise money for those places that we visit. So it's going to be a great, great experience. And it's all, you know, we're all creating those books. Well, I was going to ask you about that. So how, how, how is technology changing music business? Music business? <laughs> music business. <laughs> so uh, technology and music business, <laughs> that's a funny one. <laughs> but music. It's amplified the creative uh, community. So I like to, you know, be optimistic about that one. Amplifying the creative community, traveling, sharing, socializing. Um, that is the most beautiful thing. We, we, the music industry has never seen that. So is that the music industry or is that technology? I, I say that's technology. Um, and I'm proud to be in the center of it. I'm proud to be here with Intel, working with you guys, and uh, creating on Ultrabooks, and traveling around the world, and making a song, and uploading it to the internet right then and there. Right? The music industry is you make a song, and in two months, it comes out. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you used you use this, uh, this machine on your trip from Tokyo. You know? What was it like to use? Oh, it's, you know, this machine is, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been making music on desktops and laptops for a long time now. So to use this, you know, lighter, better performance than, you know, what I was doing two years ago up until this came out, it's, you know, I love it. I love DJing with it, I love creating with it. And, uh, you know, if you imagine, you know, what it was like when Michael Jackson was making music, he, you know, we used to make music in studios and the music played on the radio. Now you're making music on a computer and you listen to it on a computer. So that, just the idea of that, right, is just amazing. It's pretty neat. So, so, you know, the Ultrabooks are cool and responsive, you know. How, how do you expect your fans to follow you as you go through this worldwide tour in 12 cities? Um, well, Mexico City is the next stop, and it's going to be live, you know, which means that fans can follow me and participate as I take my journey um, to this next city. Um, the Ultrabook project is being launched today at Intel.com, as a matter of fact. And just before I got on stage, I was back there watching, um, and I told the cats that we should put it live, uh, you know, let everybody know the songs that we did with my uh, friends and colleagues in Japan, and uh, you get a peek in what that uh, Japanese uh, experience looked like. We went to Sendai, the, the tsunami-affected area, and had a DJ gig and raised money for <clears throat> the event that was there. Thank you millions of fans for first year of the song. Um, well, right now, actually, you can go to a <laughs> Um, we have um, Will Power 360 um, there on the uh, Apple Center, and uh, it's, a, it's a song that I made uh, in Tokyo. It's available now at Intel.com for free. It's like only 10,000 downloads. Um, whatever that. So you gotta be fast. You gotta be fast because it's gonna be taken down, and then fans are gonna spread it out and download somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys want to check it out first. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd love to hear it. Yeah, check it out. with 
this community of people that are making beats on laptops uh, and in their future ultrabooks. It's, it's, a, it's a system that, that's happening. It's a, it's a community that's happening without industry. Actually, the industry are the technicians and the people that are making the chips and writing the, the uh, operating system for us to, to make music on laptops. And um, there are beats like this that DJs play in clubs on laptops and in the near future ultrabooks. And uh, it's, just, it's a wonderful culture that's happening right now. Um, back in the day, there were ghetto blasters. The song is actually called I Blow Your Mind with My Ghetto Blaster. In the 80s, we actually had big radios with big speakers, and we played them loud so the people around you can hear what you liked. Today, 